I think it was a good start to the new year to have our governor sworn in in the assembly chamber. Uh, I, of course, look forward to working with him and my colleague, uh, Mr. DeLeon, as we kick off the new year. And I think a lot of what the governor had to say uh, really tells us where we are and, and it sets the foundation to have paid off the debt that we have paid off, uh, to focus on the Affordable Care Act, pensions, infrastructure, are the things we're going to be grappling with this year. I will say, I agree wholeheartedly with him that we need to make sure that we are doing uh, the expansions of programs that we have done the right way. So when it comes to the Affordable Care Act, that we make sure we have the money to cover the cost to uh, include all of those individuals. I will say we are going to have to have a conversation about reimbursement rates for Medi-Cal because if we, we, we can't really have a fully functioning program if we don't have providers who can do the service for those millions of Californians. So I look forward to working with the governor to make sure that we have all of those programs absolutely uh, running and implemented in a way for long-term sustainability. Uh, I think uh, we're on the same page when it comes to education, higher education, clearly uh, UC, CSU and our community colleges, uh, that we are going to have a $65 billion uh, budget for schools and education is, I think, what Californians want to hear. So we have to make sure that those things are firm in the foundation of how we move forward. Having said that, I think it's going to be a, a good discussion to have with the governor about where we can add some uh, funding for programs uh, that people need. Not all Californians have come back from the recession. I think California is on the comeback trail, but we still have people who are suffering in parts of our state, and we have to make sure that we're looking out for them thoughtfully, uh, certainly uh, trying to make sure that we don't hurt ourselves in the future and have to take resources away. Uh, so I look forward to working with the governor. And the one interesting thing I heard him talk about was infrastructure and the 59 billion, it was either 53 or 59 billion dollars of infrastructure that we need in California. And he wants Democrats and Republicans to work together on that. I'm going to be very excited to hear what his proposal is for how we do that and how we start to tackle that infrastructure. Uh, as someone who comes out of local government, I understand the critical nature of infrastructure. San Diego County has a $2 billion infrastructure deficit. So I look forward to working with him on that. Uh, I think this is a good start to a new year, and uh, the partnership is strong between the governor and the pro tem, and I think now what we have to do is get to work. I've already said that we're going to take a, a, a very in-depth look at the UC budget. We're going to start with zero-based budgeting because I want to see if the priorities that they have put forward really match what we all believe the priorities should be. It's a start of a discussion. Uh, clearly, the president put forward her proposal, and it was passed by the regents. I don't think the governor, nor Pro Tem De Leon, nor I think tuition increases is the way to go. We've all put forward proposals, and now is the time that the three of us start to work to hammer out what we're going to do and how we're going to solve that problem. But we do need to solve it. He didn't mention how. He talked about we would need to work together. So it was one of the things I noted. I'm interested to talk to him about uh, what his proposal is. Uh, I don't know if there is an appetite in the legislature to do a bond or a fee, but I will say this, I would love to work on this issue because infrastructure is something that California really needs to take a look at. We looked at water infrastructure. Uh, it's time that we take a look at roadways, transit, uh, local roads, uh, bridges, all the other kinds of infrastructure. So I want to talk to him and find out what he's proposing. He didn't say exactly.